Jonah, it's not really, my name's not Jonah. How are you guys? Welcome in. My name is not Jonah really. Hope everybody's well. Uh, it's a little warmer in upstate New York right now, so that's a good thing. Uh, it has been extremely cold, so uh, it's a good thing that's warming up a little bit. Uh, Fox Gaming, welcome in. Um, so yes, we're doing another week of streams for Stop Soldier Suicide. Uh, we are at $410 of our $500 goal. I had absolutely no idea we would be, even be this close to the $500 goal. So to be this close to the $500 goal is incredible. Uh, can't thank you guys all enough for that. Um, tonight we are making pork schnitzel with German potato salad. And then we're going to make some oatmeal and banana cookies because I've got some bananas that are on their way out. They're probably already out, but I'm going to use them anyway. Um, and then uh, we'll see if we can raise some more money. And if we raise some more money, we've got more targets to hit and stuff like that. So uh, things things will happen. <laughs> things will happen the more money we make. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, so pork schnitzel, German potato salad, which is one of my favorite meals. I absolutely love pork schnitzel. Um, Hello, Sarah tried to donate to, but she couldn't. Well, she probably didn't. Did she do the right link? Why wouldn't she be able to? All you got to do is hit that right there. I don't know why she wouldn't be able to. Everybody else has. I wonder if she didn't go to the right link. But anyway. All right. Um, so is she is, is she is she at home tonight like is she there tonight because tell her to pop in and we'll see if we can figure it out if she is um just take this off i got i get the emails galore here uh all right so anyway yeah so 410 total um we did fix i did manage to fix all the alerts see if the alerts are all fixed as well um we reset everything, so when we reset everything, it put all the volumes down to like 40. So all that's all, all sorted out. Yeah, tell her to pop in and see if she can try it through this. So, um, all right, hold on one second. Let's uh, switch over to the to the other screen. Uh, live scene. Live scene. All right, there we are. Not broken or anything. Perfect. <laughs> we haven't broken it. Um, all right. So first things first, we're going to do the we're going to do the uh, German potato. Well, we're going to prep the German potato salad because you have to let the basically what we're going to do first is going to make pickled onions, and then you let them sit in all of that marinade. It's very simple. German potato salad is very very simple. Um, you literally take pickled onions and mix it with potatoes and there's your German potato salad but you want the potatoes to be warm so it's a warm potato salad it doesn't have mayonnaise in it, it has a little tiny bit of mustard um, and it has uh, garlic um, what else um, vegetable oil apple cider vinegar a little sugar a little paprika a little black pepper some thinly sliced red onion uh, some chopped parsley um some german mustard and some small diced um pickles um so that all goes in there as well so it's i i love it german potato salad to me is better than regular potato salad um i prefer it to regular potato salad myself but that's just my opinion so all right so that's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the marinade for the potato salads so all the onions and all that the pickled onions so one and a half, one and a half small onions. And all we're going to do is slice them up. It, uh, it warmed up considerably compared to what it was like. Um, it was like three degrees the other day. Something silly. Oh, okay. Evening brave up. Yeah. So she's, she, um, it was like minus 20 in places um, and we went out on Saturday and it was 
three degrees outside. Uh, today is actually 33, so it's a heat wave. Not really a heat wave, but it's better than it was. The whole the whole house isn't isn't creaking with the with the frozen chilled wind. Uh, so that's a good thing. No wind. February heat wave for sure. Yeah, it feels like it. So yeah, so we had we had uh, minus twenty some odd degrees the other day. It was it was absolutely horrendous. So uh, glad that's all done. Glad that's gone now. For now, they actually had a they actually had a they actually had or so they say a earthquake near near uh, Niagara Falls, which is four hours away from me. Hi, Barb. They actually said that on the news they had a, uh, a an earthquake up there but it's like a frozen tundra up there right now uh you can't even like hardly any of the falls are even falling <laughs> yeah that sounds silly hardly any of the falls are even like running because it's so frozen up there um which is pretty wild you don't typically hear about that you know niagara falls frozen solid All right, let me, uh, never been here before. Right. Get some paper towels so we don't make a mess. <clears throat> All right. So if we get enough songs too, we can put a song request on as well. Uh, if people are interested. Uh, hey Dave, I got all the sounds fixed. Everything had everything had reset to 40, 40%. So all of them are fixed now. Just to let you know. <laughs> I went into the bot and I'm like, what's going on here? And all of them were at 40. They were all at 40%. Try turning it off and on again. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> there you go. You know what, Dave, I didn't realize that that... I knew the guy's voice, but I didn't know what it was from. And I Googled it. <laughs> and I found out what that was from. So now I knew what it was. I was like, holy crap, I knew it was that guy. He's a, he's, a, he's in the movie uh, from Bridesmaids. Not that clip, but that... That... Uh, that guy who does that voice, he's he's in the movie Bridesmaids. He's a cop in that movie. Very good stuff. Very good. All right. So, again, uh, pork schnitzel and German potato salad tonight with some uh, with some leftover wrecked bananas. Not leftover. They just they need to be used. Bananas and oatmeal and chocolate chip cookies. By the way, by the way, the uh, biscotti turned out amazing. And it's all gone. <laughs> we had nothing else to do all weekend because we were so cold. We sat in the house. Me and Laura just made tea and ate biscotti all weekend. We had, a, we had another viewing. So we got out of the house for that. And then other than that, that's pretty much what we did this weekend. Sit and drink tea and, and eat biscotti. <laughs> Very good though. Very good. In fact, that's going to be one of the things that I, when, I, when we get this food truck up and running, uh, when we move, when we finally move, that's actually going to become a main, that's going to become one of my things on the food truck is the biscotti because it was so good. So we'll be making a bunch of different flavors of that to have on the food truck. So we're not exactly 100% sure. Obviously, of course, we've got to sell the house first, but we're not 100% sure when we're going to get the food truck. We'll obviously get the house first, get that set up, but then we're going to take a trip, as you guys all know. We're going to take the trip, and we probably will get the food truck after we come back from our trip. Just because it'd be silly to get the food truck, leave it sit there and do nothing with it. So, all right. So this is the this is the the guts. This is the guts of the German potato salad. Basically, what we're doing, we're making pickled onions. So pickled onions, um, 
these red onions, I'll tell you what, these little. Ooh. Ooh. All right. How you doing, Colonel? Good, good thing for me. That's coming in with a raid. See, everything's working now. See that? Will the food truck be ready to go? We have to fit it out. Um, I'm not really 100% sure yet. Um, depends on which one we buy. There's several. There's several that we're looking at. How you doing, Colonel? Welcome in, Raiders. Good cooking formula. How was your stream, my friend? Hopefully, hopefully everything is going well for you guys. Uh, give me one second to sneak in here and get some, some vinegar. Sneak in the closet. Yes, how are you? Not seen you in a while. Hope everything's good. Welcome in, Raiders. Ooh, them red onions are strong. All right, so today we're making pork schnitzel, pork schnitzel and German potato salad. And then we're going to make some cookies because we've got some leftover, some, some bananas that are going, you know, about ready to, about ready to go. So we're going to just put together some cookies. Um, there's, there's several options, Milford. Um, I use my sand goggles. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, um, there's several options, Milford. Um, you can buy them already kitted out and already done. But, um, you know, and then, then of course you buy ones that you drive. You, there's one that you drive and then there's one obviously that's a trailer. I think I'm going to buy the one. I think I'm just going to buy the one that's already done and finished and away you go. That way we just got to get the licenses for wherever we need to go and that's it. So, right, apple cider vinegar. We're going to make this swim a little bit. Yes, pork schnitzel is one of my favorites. So, again, this week we're, do, we're raising money for stop soldier suicide. <clears throat> <clears throat> Colonel's gone gone into hiding in the kitchen cupboards. Um, we are we are raising money for stop soldier suicide. Um, it is a non-profit organisation um, that supports spouse, family members, not just a soldier, but it supports everybody across the board. Um, 53%, we've said this last week, 53% um, of soldiers that came back from America. 53% uh, of, of soldiers. 47 cheered. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. Appreciate that very much. 53% um, um, of um, soldiers that have come back from Iraq or Afghanistan since 2019 have either attempted it or no family members attempted suicide in that time which is which is a staggering statistic when you think about it really you know how many people have been over there and stuff it's terrible so Ogawa thank you very much again for those bits all right so as far as the German potato salad goes we're making pickled onions for that so pickled onions for the potato salad uh, little olive oil little apple cider vinegar we're going to do some sugar and this is uh this is warm so that's nice because when you add all the when you add all of this pickled onions to the warm potatoes it just gets really happy it's really happy that one weird girl thank you very much for the 100 bits thank you very much very kind of you all right Um, any, well, we have, we have, we have perps for anybody donating. Anybody donates $10 or more. We have things to give away. Uh, Holland, how are you? Welcome in. Anybody that donates anything from $10 up. We have, we have some perks. Um, we have, uh, Kindred Nations hot sauce to give away. We have creme delish. I'm sure if you've been in food channels, Recently, you've heard of creme delicious everywhere. Creme delicious powder. Um, we have uh, anybody that donates twenty-five dollars or more gets a Chef Rob Creations T-shirt with a uh, little bear produce and my logo on it. Anybody that does twenty dollars gets put into a hat and pulled out uh, for a Chef Rob Creations hat uh, T-shirt. I'm eating fried rice. Very nice. Um, so uh, there's lots of different things. And then also Grill Your Ass Off, which is a company I started working with recently. They're a military, they're a military affiliated 
they do a lot of their veteran um, and they have this this is like an MRE and it has seven different spices in it so we have these to give away as well lots of stuff to give give away to people that are donating and like I said we're at four hundred and ten dollars already with a week to go so it would be crazy if we could break that five hundred dollars um, just because I you know I set the target just wasn't even really thinking about it very much you know just thinking ah, oh, you know what 500 is 500 is doable but you just never know you know and the way the economy is right now um 410 dollars is absolutely amazing already all right so pickles and german mustard so german style mustard um it's a little it's a little darker but uh it's good though no mayonnaise in German potato salad. Just got to get some out of here. I haven't used this in a while. Usually put this on my wiener. <laughs> Butler, how you doing? There's a paprika, black pepper. So paprika, black pepper, parsley. <laughs> and then, and then we're good. Surely that would sting. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yes, they're all working, you see? You see, they're all working. We got them all working now. Excellent. All right, so some smoked paprika. So this will give it like a nice color. Oh, yes. And then you got to go with the table ground black pepper. <clears throat> then we're going to chop up some pickles. These are not these are not like dill pickles. These are these are snackums, whatever that is. Classic snackums good stuff though if you like pickles you'll love them if you don't like them you won't I love pickles me so that goes in as well I'm throwing it I'm throwing them all over the place I'm throwing pickles everywhere so this is the pickled onions all you get it so all you're gonna do now for the for the German potato salad is you, you boil potatoes. Um, you can usually use like the new potatoes. Uh, they're the best, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to quarter up some potatoes, regular potatoes. You, uh, you boil them until they're fork soft and then you just stir them, mix this in. And that's, that's your German potato salad. And you serve it warm. It's really good. I like it. You guys might all be like, hell no, I ain't doing that. Um, I've got another, what was the sound I just added? I added another sound. What was the sound I just added? Ah, oh no, I gotta remember what the sound was now. Um, what was it? Uh, oh, a follower alert. I got a new follower alert. That's all. I was messing with sounds last night and was playing about, so. Hi, Vicariously, how are you? So, this right here. There you go, you see? Welcome to the family. <laughs> Had to test it out. Thank you, Phoenix. Added a couple more, but I can't, I can't remember what they are now. All right, so there you go. So basically, all you do is you boil your potatoes, you know, you drain the water out, stir that in. Once that sits for a while, this gets all, this gets all happy together. And that's your German potato salad. So there you go. Right, uh, pork schnitzel, we'll do in a second. We're gonna chop up the potatoes first. <clears throat> then we're gonna make some oatmeal, banana and chocolate chip cookies as well, because we've got some bananas that's, uh, <clears throat> you know, ready to go. 
I am good. How are you? I'm cooking stir fry. It's been a long time since I've done this. You got it. I'm well, thank you. It's warmed up, warmed up a great deal here. So, um, kind of glad about that because it was freezing cold here the other day. Extremely cold. You walk out on our deck and the deck was crunching because it was so cold. There's ice that's fell between the, the wood. And it literally sounded like the wood was all cracking. That's how, that's how cold it was here. I went to the, I was telling you, I went to the gas station the other day and there's a guy in shorts. There's a guy in shorts pumping gas at minus five degrees outside. I'm like, you must be mad. Making a Sri Lanka style pork curry and coconut sambal. Oh, nice. Sambal is delicious. <clears throat> I love sambal. All right, we're not going to go crazy. Again, I don't want leftovers. I don't want a ton of leftovers. The soup lasted until last night. We had the soup last night for dinner, so that was good. We went out Saturday. Um, all right, Dave. Um, we went out Saturday. And uh, so we didn't really eat. We ate out. Um, and then, uh, well, we snacked. And then we had soup last night. So the soup was all gone. We just finished the biscottis late last night as well. <laughs> so that was good. <clears throat> See these potatoes are these potatoes are on their way out. They shouldn't get green like that, but I haven't done anything with potatoes in a long time. So I need to use these like today. Today would be the last day really. You shouldn't let them get green. They'll probably be a little bitter, but they're gonna have vinegar in them anyway, so it's not gonna make that much difference. But you typically don't want them to get like that. I'm not going to throw them away. They're perfectly fine. But typically you wouldn't, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to have them like that. I've eaten way worse things than green potatoes. <laughs> I'll just throw some extra parsley and it will hide the color. It will be good. All right, that's probably plenty right there. So, <clears throat> and German potato salad, you can peel the potatoes. I've seen different regions do it different ways. I'm not going to. Um, I want my hair curly. I think that's what skins do, right? Potato skins? No, that's, that's crust on bread, isn't it? That's bread crust. <laughs> Well, either way, I'm not peeling them. I'm not peeling them, so. A little bit of salt. All right, that, that, damn, Dave, that was quick. Your PC don't mess about. <clears throat> the skin on the potatoes is the best part. Now, all right, do, so do you, eat, do you eat the skin on a baked potato? You know, when you make a baked potato, do you eat the skin? I absolutely love the skin on baked potatoes. I don't know how many times that when I was working in restaurants, yeah, the best part. When I was working in restaurants, you'd see like, you'd see like, you know, half-eaten potatoes or whatever. You'd see like, people would scoop it out and then leave the skin on the plate. And I'm like, why would you do that? That's the best bit. I agree, I agree, Milford. I love potato skins. I love potato skins. I mean, obviously, you know, some people don't, you know, each to their own, but I absolutely love it. Half the time, I'm like, to Laura, give us your potato skin. <laughs> give us your potato skin here. I, I love it. Those, uh, that little red onions. Oh dear, oh dear. I have to show you this thing too, Dave. Uh, yeah, it's fairly new and I make it faster by kind of predicting when it's going to ask for a password and get my hands ready before it even shows up. Nice. Best part. Yes, Barb. <clears throat> okay, so I bought this stuff last week. Right, Dave? I bought this last week. Look at this. This is still... Look, look how fresh this is. 
I change the water every day. Well, every other day I've changed the water. Look how fresh that is still. Normally this thing, normally this thing, you know, you take, you buy some parsley or something from the grocery store, within two days it's dead. Yeah, see, and you just literally, all you do is you take the end off, look. That's all you do is to take that off like that and soak that in the thing. It's really, really handy bit of kit, I tell you. Shock you haven't broke it. True. <laughs> True. What's the name of it? It's a, well, <laughs> in English, it's a herb saver. In America, it's a herb saver. <laughs> oh, it's called Novart Everyday Innovation. A Novart. So I even kept the box in case I did break it. A Novart Everyday Innovation. A glass herb keeper. <laughs> no fart, yeah. See? A glass, look. A glass herb keeper, and it's XXL. <laughs> yeah. It's suit, I'll tell you what, Dave, it's probably the, I, when I opened it, the packaging, I thought, bloody hell, there's no way this thing's going to ever break. I could probably slam it on the ground and it wouldn't break. It was really well packaged. But this is even still, this is even still crunchy. That this, like it's not, not wilted, limp or anything. It's still crunchy. The thing works really well. <laughs> probably didn't want to see my chewed up piece of parsley there, did you? But it works really well. All right, so we're gonna just take this and some of this is gonna go into the potato salad. Some of it's gonna go into the flour for the, uh, <clears throat> the schnitzel. I was like, what am I making? Yeah, schnitzel. Just leave it just like that, take about that much. If you guys have, if you guys have, I can, this is on, what I've got now on is Spotify. If you guys want to put song requests on, I've got a song request thing on here now that I've got songs already in the, lined up to play. But if you guys are interested in putting song requests on, um, we can, we can do that. It's just SR and then your YouTube link. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Gotta make sure. I hear the train it comes. It's pulling around a bit. And I ain't seen the sun. Gotta make sure that it doesn't pick it up by the I'm stuck in holes in prison. Where's Chris? <laughs> yeah, so one of my favorites too um all right so next um um um, um. all right so we need the three bowl process like we always do for the what time did you what time did you come on i've been on twitch the last few hours and kept refreshing to see i have been live for 30 minutes 30 minutes so we're gonna do the three bowl thing. Oh no, we're not. We're gonna we are, but we're gonna smash the we're gonna smash the pork around for a bit. We gotta we gotta smash the pork around a little bit. So yeah, I gotta pound that meat first. That's right. Right. Um, let's see. La, la. Okay, so panko, um, flour, garlic, um, 
salt, paprika, black pepper in the panko. No, in the flour. Panko is just plain panko. Um, plain panko. Now we're a music stream. <laughs> now we're a music streamer. I'm playing my panko. <laughs> I just need to make sure that it's not super, super loud, that's all. Bling. We'll turn it down a little bit just in case. All right. There we go. Because I'm saving the uh, the vods, so I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, so just you know, there's your panko in here. Yeah, we had pork sauce with something called Frankfurt sauce, which is like green sauce. Oh yeah. Hmm. I admit it's it's. Honestly, it's one of my, it's one of my go-tos. Like we went to Germany a couple of times with Laura when we lived in, when we lived in England, we went to Germany a couple of times. Now, of course, my pork schnitzel is going to be like this big. The pork schnitzel you get in Germany is like this big. Like what, what, how the heck did you get it like that? What'd you do? Pound out a piece of pork belly? <laughs> it's huge. It is huge. All right, again, we're going to use smoked paprika. This really is just for a little bit of the color um, when you when you fry it. Um, the panko is really the uh, the paprika is really it's it, of course it adds a little flavor to it, but most of it is for uh, most of it is for the color that, to seep through. Garlic, paprika, but uh, three eggs. Oh yeah, so then obviously the wet is gonna be eggs and milk. Well, it's egg. In, in German cooking, they don't use milk for the schnitzel, but I'm gonna use a little bit of egg just because eggs are like gold right now. Although I did go to the store this morning and I saw 60 eggs instead of being 27.99 now, they're down to 19.99. So maybe they found some cheaper chickens. Maybe they've, uh... I'm making chicken cassoulet tomorrow. Ooh, nice. It did go down, yeah. Yeah, I was quite surprised I seen that. I was like, oh, okay. For the grill sauce, uh, basil, parsley, dill, fresh chives. A couple of sprigs of fresh thyme, leaves removed, very finely chopped. Leaves, a sprig of rosemary, leaves removed. Sage, wow, there's a bunch of them there. Green onions, green shoots, very finely sliced. 200 grams of sour cream, little milk. Okay, right. I'm going to save that, Dave. If I had the stuff to make that, I would make it, but I'm going to save that because next time I do it, next time I do it, I'm going to have that. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna save that. Wish the price of beer would come down. <laughs> You've got to be getting close now, don't you? To be getting out of jail. <laughs> You've got to be getting close now. How, how many? How many more days you got? It's out the window, Saturday was bearded. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, you messed up? You didn't get the, you didn't win the money? 
Nah. You lost $500 by like a week. 500 quid by a week. Or did you win the money? Hold on. If you, if you, I'll tell you what, Braveheart, if you bet cancelled, got invited out by the better. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You gave up on 500 quid for like a week. You had one more week to wait. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Milford, why aren't you taking the piss? <laughs> oh my God. Five hundred pounds. Was bored and went screw it. I'm going for a pint. Oh yeah, I know. But you had a what? It would have been. It's like two days in it, and it like on the eighth or something. Oh man. Oh. So who did you have to give five hundred quid to, or you didn't have to? You didn't have to pay for them on five hundred quid. Like a weird year's wage. Get out. <laughs> oh man. That's tough. That's real tough. Oh. Let me tell you something. I don't care how bored I am. If someone's going to give me... Nobody bet was cancelled. 500 quid in Geordie land would be a decade's worth. It was cancelled. What, they just said, well, all right, we're done. We're not going to do it anymore. Hold on, I got to turn this. I got to turn this music off. This music is loud. Hold off a minute. <laughs> so you just cancelled the bet. Why didn't anybody just cancel it the day you made it? Dear, oh dear. You could have been loaded. You could have had 500 quid in your pocket. I'll tell you right now, if I was that close to 500 quid, if I was that close to 500 quid, there ain't no way I'd have been drinking. <laughs> Don't give a shit if I was bored or not. 500 pound is 500 pound. Three pints, I was pissed. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, at least you didn't have to pay out 500 quid. At least you didn't have to pay it out. Because if you'd have had to pay it out, that would have been... That would have been bad. I'd have flown over there and kicked you right in the nuts if you'd have lost that on that. <laughs> Big Dave's now hiding in the closet. In the cupboards. Alright. I'm going to... So we just got four pork chops. Four oh, pork chops. Not the first time either. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh dear. Didn't need to go there. Whoops. All right. So. Just got four. Just got four. It literally says it right there, he's hiding in the cupboard. Behave yourself. All right, let me see if I can find my Timmy mallet. I have a mallet here somewhere, but I don't know where the hell it is. I couldn't find it last time, so. Uh, is it up here? My monsters are real. Um, it might be. Might be in this drawer here. I have got so much crap in this drawer. I'm okay, probably not ever going to be able to find it. I'll just use the mallet. I'll just use the 
I'll just use the rolling pin like I did last time. There's too much stuff in that drawer. I'm not farting around with that. All right. Let me check these potatoes. So what I do now, I cheat a little bit. I just shut them off. When you bash the meat, the cling film moves and then the meat moves as well. Hey. Eh? Just noisy, that's all. Good evening, Chloe. You know, just making lots of noise. But... <laughs> so, we're going to try something different here. Don't tap it, whack it. <laughs> yeah, we're I just don't want to sp spray all this. I don't want to spray the. <laughs> I don't want to spray the meat juice everywhere. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I did. I didn't even mean to say that. It didn't. <laughs> oh my god! It it didn't come out right. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh dear! Oh dear! So yeah, so we're raising money for Stop Soldier Suicide. Uh, we're raising money for Stop Soldier Suicide. If anybody wants to donate, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna break this thing if I ain't careful. All right, that's good enough. That's about how big you want it because it's gonna, it's gonna uh, when you put the, when you put all the flour and stuff on it, it's gonna. <laughs> it's gonna get bigger. <laughs> oh, shut up! <clears throat> the more you rub it, the more it gets bigger. Everything is like, everything is like bouncing on the table. Wow. Making a ton of noise over here. All I want to do is tenderize the meat a little bit. Literally, all I want to do is tenderize this. If I'd have had the mallet, I'd have been done in five minutes, but I don't know what the hell I did with it. <coughs> Yeah, I don't know what I've done with it. I probably lost it somewhere. It may have even got packed in a box already. It may have even got put in a box. Grab a thicker bit, then you pound it. It's obviously rolling pin. Yes, yes. Yeah, see that's, that'll be all right. That'll be fine, just like that. Obviously, it's not going to be like, you know, like a piece, like a German piece of schnitzel, but... Bottom of a frying pan, look at that. Now I know, now, now I know what happens when, when Barb's husband's pissing her off. She grabs a frying pan, beat him with it! Hey, what, I could use this. This has got a... This has got a heavy bottom on it, this one. <laughs> yeah, this one won't break, this one's big. But I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move over here to a more solid, to a more solid counter. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Misses and hits his stuff. Oh, yeah, good enough. Good enough. 
I'm done playing with my meat. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, put that back up there. I, I literally like everything on the table turned around. <laughs> it's a wonder the hot sauce didn't fall off. Blister number two of 2023, yeah. Yeah, no, no blister. No blister. All right, next. Yeah, everything turned around on the table. The speaker flipped over, everything. The, uh, <laughs> the stream deck laid flat. <coughs> All right, so let's see next. All right, so next. Did you hear the pounding? Yeah, what, what are you doing? I was pounding my meat. Oh, jeez. Yeah, my weekend was nuts. It was wild. Um, oh, Laura, just to let you know about the disappointing thing that happened this weekend. Braveheart was one week away and went out drinking. They cancelled the bet. And what was the bet? 500 quid if he could go oh, a month. Geez. Yeah. Oh. If he could go a whole month and he's like, my better half asked me to go out, so I went out. Yep. She's over there shaking her head. Nah, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Five hundred quid was worth it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> All right. Next, we're gonna do the. Uh, Hello, Laura. There you go. Big Dave's talking to you. Yeah, we went out and saw the, uh, get the lead out. Did you tell everybody about it? No, I just said we went out. I didn't have to name names. Yeah. Oh, he didn't have to name <laughs> But we went to go see Get the Lead Out, and uh, we, got, right. we got the lead out. All right. Well, we did. Calm down. <laughs> I can't believe you tell what a great concert it was. I did say we had a good time. Okay. Sure. He's a man, Ross. <laughs> You're raving about it. Now you being all like, you're mad at me or something. No, I'm not. <laughs> all right. You are you, Ross? No. Finally using these bananas. Yeah. Wait, that's what are you doing? Because it's black. Yeah, but you can still boil them for the plant water. Right. Yes, you can. They are rough. That pan will get bashed over your head if you carry on. <laughs> yeah, thank you. What the heck? All right, mashed Ooh, potato. They love, they love me. Potato, potato. potato masher. Where is the potato masher? Right here. Okay, so. One way to use up your old bananas. Love both of you equally. Big Dave. Aww. All right, so to, this is a good, <clears throat> I know. This is a good way of using up your, uh, your bananas that are on the way out, but you can, they're, they're good enough, you know. The skin just started to turn or whatever. Well, they've already turned and they've been sitting over there for two weeks and you're like, hey, when are you going to use these bananas? This is the perfect opportunity to use those bananas. Uh, flour. Got a bunch of stuff I gotta. Do you have anything you can get for birds? Not right this second, no. <clears throat> Ooh, am I gonna have enough? I am. Just enough. Just enough. <coughs> So oatmeal, one cup of oatmeal, half a cup of chocolate chips, banana splits, yes it is, <clears throat> it is, 
but I just like to, we just, I'll have a cup of chocolate chips, semi-sweet, I just wasn't buying ice cream, <laughs> I just didn't want to go buy ice cream, but I, like I said, I had all this stuff from last week, which was really, really handy, I didn't have to go and buy anything, um, Half a cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar. All right, so we'll do half a cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more brown sugar in than I am regular sugar. Brown sugar just, uh, you know, just uh, makes the cookies a little bit more richer. Yeah. Yep. All right. So a little bit of brown sugar in there. You don't have to pack it in. You can get as close to it as you want. Yeah, if you've got a sweet tooth, put a little bit more in. It's fine. No one's uh no one's actually gonna be like, well you can't do that. <clears throat> One teaspoon of baking soda. These are pretty much like, like, you know, there's not really like a huge, like a, this is just like a generic cookie recipe. It's not really like a, <clears throat> you know, like a standard recipe or anything. This is just like, add a bit of this, add a bit of that, throw some, if you wanted to, you could put some nuts in it. Um, you, I'm gonna put some creme delish in mine. <clears throat> Um, you could put some raisins in there, I guess, if you wanted to as well. Whoa. Um, like, like I said, pretty much anything, anything in your cupboards that you like in cookies, you can throw in these and it's not going to be, it's not going to make that much of a difference. So creme delish, a couple of teaspoons in there. That's your vanilla and your cinnamon. Obviously that's the enhancer to, so if you put regular vanilla and regular cinnamon, which we're going to do, that creme delish there will enhance that flavor. What is? How you doing, James? A um, little bit of, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. <clears throat> um, Pinch of salt. Oh, I guess I need to turn the oven on, huh? 350 on the oven. Again, pinch of salt. Not, I'm not doing like a, a ton of salt, like I said. Um, just, I'm still watching the salt. Like if I cook mashed potatoes, I'm gonna put some salt in it, but like only for when I'm boiling the potatoes, not for when I'm making the potatoes. And then uh, butter, three quarters of a cup. So what do we got here? Three quarters of a cup is two sticks is one cup. So three quarters of a cup is there. And then one more. So it's quite a lot of butter, but I guess you need something to, to combine all that and then two cups of flour. So, you know, that's where, that's where that comes in. This is a pretty big batch of cookies, so, um, we probably won't need any, uh, any dessert for the rest of the week. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it's, it, I mean, the stuff that we made, like that biscotti, wasn't crazy. The, the biscotti, Geek Flip, how are you? The, the biscotti we made wasn't crazy. You know, it wasn't like sickly sweet or anything. It had coffee and um, brown sugar in it and uh, chocolate chips. It wasn't crazy, crazy, you know, over the top. But it was good. I actually preferred it without the chocolate. I preferred it without the chocolate on it. Just, just plain. Um, it needed, like the chocolate chips was enough, is what I meant. The, uh, 
the chocolate drizzle didn't really uh, didn't it wasn't really needed. All right. So we're going to do this until <clears throat> you stop making a mess here for a second. Grab this flower. Welcome to the family. All right. <clears throat> so again, this, this with the bananas, everything mix all that good stuff in, make like a, not really a batter. It's almost like a, uh, time to eat. There you go. <clears throat> Enjoy your dinner. So we're going to mix. <clears throat> I'm gonna mix all this. Get your get your hands in there and get it all mixed up. This this butter should have probably been pulled out a little bit, but it will still work. I should have pulled it out a little bit uh, and let it get to room temperature, but it's gonna it'll be fine. You know what bananas? Ban it's weird because banana like old bananas, not like wrecked bananas, but like bananas like in here smells a little bit like rum. Um, when like, when they like, when they get to a certain point, it almost smells like rum to me. It's still got a, got a distinctive smell to it. Almost like a, uh, what would it be? Like a, like a lambs or something like a tea, not, not really a tiki, but the lambs rum got a very similar smell to that. That might sound absolutely batshit crazy, but that's what it smells like to me anyway. <laughs> All right, so cookie dough. Just gotta make sure that all the butter gets broken up. Because if you don't break up all the butter, um, you know, you're gonna be, you can, well, <clears throat> you're gonna have greasy cookies, the first one thing. And second thing is, they'll like flatten out like a pancake and you, you don't want you don't want cookies like that so now I could use my Danish dough hook for this which I probably can now because it's at that point where it's everything's melted enough so let me just mix this up here How was everybody's weekend anyway? Did anybody do anything fun and interesting over the weekend? <clears throat> I didn't do much of anything really. Towed the house again, like I said. Um, talked to the real estate people. Um, that's pretty much it. Wasn't a very eventful week. Oh, and then we went to that concert Saturday night. But, uh, wasn't really, wasn't really, we, we couldn't be bothered to do anything yesterday at all. I didn't do nothing yesterday. I watched the football. That's all I did yesterday. I didn't do anything else. And that wasn't that great either. <laughs> all right, so. No, I didn't do very much. Didn't do very much at all. I still got to put an egg in here yet, <laughs> which I haven't put in yet. So it's going to be very, <clears throat> it's going to be exclamation mark moist. Had new washing machine delivered about the highlight of my week. There you go. <clears throat> you know what though, Dave? <laughs> we had one. We had one delivered a couple of months ago. So we have, <clears throat> you know, obviously when the bed and breakfast was open, 
we had two washers and two dryers because there were so many sheets and stuff like that. So I always, now I find myself using the new one. I don't even use the old one anymore. Because we had one that broke down. And so they took the old one away and they left us with the one that was already here plus our brand new one. The brand new one is faster. <laughs> the brand new one is faster. It washes the clothes better. It uses less water. I love it. So I find myself using the new one. Ours was clonking and banging like mad, yeah. Yeah, our first, the first one that we had, the first one that we got rid of was. But this new one is a, is a Samsung one. This thing's a beast. I want to take it with us when we move, but you can't do that. <laughs> Laura's like, we can't do that, Rob. It's, a, it's, it's just not the right thing to do. I'm like, I could just put the old one back in. <laughs> But, all right, then one egg. Now, because I'm putting the egg in, I'm gonna put just a little bit more flour in. Uh, if you have a transport bolt, you could, yeah. Yeah, how you doing, Tartan? Yeah, I mean, I'm not worried about it. But uh, it was uh, it was really nice, it's really nice one. So whoever buys the house is getting a nice washing machine, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna hire, a, I'm actually gonna hire a 26 foot truck. Um, like a, almost like a, um, it's like a moving, it's, it's not a truck, it's not a van, but it's like a moving lorry kind of thing, 26 feet. You don't have to have a, you don't have to have a, um, a license for that, you can, I can go rent, anybody can rent them at that size. So I'm gonna go rent one of them and just move it myself. Which we're, we're not hiring a moving company to move us either. We're gonna do it ourselves. Too much money. Their moving companies want extortionate amounts of money. So I'm just gonna do it myself. Yeah, moving companies are crazy money over here. We've moved, we've moved where we've paid for it ourselves, where the military hasn't paid for it. We've moved three times, and each time we've moved, <clears throat> each time we've moved, it's been, uh, um, it's been over $10,000 to move. I ain't doing that again. Ain't doing that again. So it's just easier to do it myself. You know, it's convenient because a moving company pack comes in and packs your stuff for you. But I, mm -mm, nope. Yeah, yeah, it was ten thousand dollars. Each time we moved was ten thousand dollars. Now they, now they literally, what they do is they come to your house for that ten thousand dollars. They come to your house, they pack all your stuff for you, they label all the boxes, they inventory everything, they smash some stuff up. There's some. We've had some terrible, terrible things happen to some of our furniture, um, where they've where they've smashed stuff up and. Oh, you know, we can just, you can just reimburse you. I'm like, yeah, but like it was good as it was. It didn't need to be broken up like that. Um, we've had, some, I've had some nightmare moving. Military too. Military moving. Military moving sucks. <laughs> Military moving. They beat the hell out of your stuff. We had so much stuff that we lost um, that was damaged from moving state to state with the military. So, yeah, so this, this one. This, this will be the final one for a long time. We're doing it ourselves. We're gonna do it ourselves. So, all right, there is our cookie dough. Yeah, it's a, but it's only like for, for where we're, so from here to where we're going is a nine hour, nine hour drive. Um, eventually when we go. Um, and I, I do that. Hell, I've done it. I've gone there and back. I've done an 18 hour round trip. Literally gone there, dropped stuff off and drove back. I've done that a couple of times. Everyone's like, you shouldn't do that. I'm like, I want to, number one, I want to sleep in my own bed. And number two, nobody else is going to do it. So I've done it several times where you do an 18 hour round trip. Literally to drive there, drop stuff off, unload, come back. Done that, done that a couple of times, which is kind of silly, but 
Um, Og Ug for partners. Thank you very much for that follow. Appreciate that. So yeah, so you know, it's it's one of them things, you know. One of them things you hate to do, but what are you going to do? You know, you gotta you gotta do it. No one's gonna no one's gonna be there and uh, you know do that kind of stuff. So it's just easier to get on with it and get it done, and then unless you got to worry about it. So, all right, now I'm 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 debating whether do I make like big big cookies, you know, so like a hefty portion. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> let's see if I can find my, because I have a, like an ice cream, uh, 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 ice cream, an ice cream scoop, but I think that thing might be too big. That would make one hell of a cookie though. Boy, if you did that, you'd have to have ice cream with it. Oh yeah. <laughs> there it is. So I could do them like this big. Supreme Jesus, how you doing, buddy? Hello there. <laughs> yes. So I could do them like that big. <clears throat> Dear idea. So let's see. Uh, plate size. <laughs> Milford's like Milford's like go big or go home. Do them the size of a plate. All right, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it like this. So I'm thinking about like that, and just where it, wherever it, wherever it goes, it goes. If it sticks, if it joins together with his buddy, we'll just let it go. It's gonna melt in it, but. See all this stuff, all this stuff right here is all practice for when, when I move, because I want to do my own desserts on the food truck as well. I'm not going to do a ton of desserts, but like something like a cookie or a, or a, um, like a biscotti, that's an easy dessert to make. Brave, I'd leave a, sp a bigger space. Yeah, but if it melts and it all goes to one, I can just cut it up, can't I? <laughs> Brave. <laughs> <laughs> if it all if it all mixes into one, it's fine. <laughs> Brave. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out, Milford. We'll see what happens. Like I said, if it goes into one, it's not that big of a deal. I'll just have one huge cookie then. All right. Now, you could have put raisins in there. Raisins would have been probably really good in there too. Raisins would have probably been really good in there. Isn't a brownie, isn't a brownie some we make cookies? Isn't the brownie son? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? In the brownie son, we make cookies. <laughs> son. Son. Brave, I'd leave the bigger space. I thought you were actually talking to Braveheart then. Wait, did I put baking soda in there? Yes, I did, didn't I? I did. I was like, oh my God, the baking soda's right there, but I don't think I put it in there, but I did. All right, next. The oven's the oven's heated. <laughs> right here we go. This is what they looked like before, right? We'll find out what they look like in a minute. Three hundred and fifty degrees, and then we'll see what they look like when they come out. Right next. 
Gonna get some milk. Just like just a little bit of milk, like I said, because you typically don't use milk in this res recipe, but as, as eggs are gold, um, I'm gonna use a little bit of milk instead. Thought you were going to do a blue Peter there. Here's some I made earlier. <laughs> no, not this time. <laughs> Although that would have been funny if I did. How many eggs we got left here? All right, we got we got four eggs left for the week. <laughs> I have to run and get some more. <sighs> Should be good. Should be good. Right. Two eggs, a little bit of milk. Typically, like I said, it would be three eggs, but uh, we're doing it this way. Save a little bit on, on the egg situation. <laughs> Because, you know, the egg situation is a bit, a bit crazy right now. How's the egg prices in the UK? Are they, are they come down a bit? Did I hear my name? No, I said egg. I didn't say creme delish this time. Unless you, unless you were like here for a while and then came back. Excellent. Because I did say it a little bit ago. I've got creme delish in my cookies today. Um, yeah, we made some uh, banana, banana oatmeal and uh, <clears throat> banana oatmeal and chocolate chip cookies. It came out fantastic in the biscotti. The biscotti the other day was unreal. So the biscotti's gone. So I needed to use these bananas up. So I said, well. Wow, yours are, yours are way cheap. Yours are way cheap. For 60 eggs, even now, like last week I went, 60 eggs was $27. This week, um, this week I went and uh, they were, um, they were $19.99 for 60. So you're paying $1.70. Wow. You're paying one pound seventy, so what's that like three, four dollars? Yeah, you got you got way better deal than what we got. Way better deal. <clears throat> so yeah, so yours yours is, yours have come down a hell of a lot. We had over a million chickens die. Of the bird flu, yeah, yeah. Eggs are still really high, hard to get. That is a US thing for sure, yeah. Yeah, even our, you know, like people that, people that have chickens themselves, it's so silly. You can't even like hardly buy chicks. You can't go and get chicks. Well, it's a long time of year right now anyway. But, uh, you know, usually you could just get like chicks and have your own chickens. Um, they're even like they're sparse too like you can very rarely get them because <clears throat> I thought about getting some chickens but obviously not now that I'm moving but but like before we were moving I was going to go get some you know they're going to say to me why is the room $200 because I had to pay $20 for eggs <laughs> that's why Oh, is it one seventy two dollars? So we stock twenty two different brand types of eggs, and currently twelve of them are out of stock. Twenty two different types. Holy crap! I didn't even know there was twenty two different. I mean, like in the in the grocery store, I didn't know there was twenty two different types of eggs. Jeez. All right, wet, dry, wet. Oh, and I just put my. All right, so I'm doing wet, dry, wet with, with the same hand. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. 
de Yeah, so ours are, ours are, ours would be, um, that is cheap ones, Milford. The ones I buy are 140 for six. Eggs and egg. <laughs> I don't know about that, Milford. <laughs> eggs and eggs, son. I don't know about that, Milford. What kind of, you know, you might get some dodgy chickens where you are. No, I don't know, but. Yeah, ours is usually a, a dot, well, they do 6, 12, 18, and then they do the 60 here. Um, and I would buy the 60 for the bed and breakfast, and we would blow through them in a weekend, no problem, when we had, you know, obviously when the bed and breakfast was busy. But, uh, holy cow. Like, that's a lot of money. Expects Milford to fry. Now, Cadbury's cream eggs are fantastic. But I can't, I can't eat them. I, if I find that, so they sell, they sell them over here, right? I never seen them anywhere else before, and I, I seen them over here, and I'm like, no freaking way. I absolutely love them things, so I have to avoid them like the plague, because I'll eat, I'll eat a six pack of them, no problem. I have to avoid them. I like them when they're like, when you put them in the fridge and they get ice cold, like you know, they're like the, the the uh, chocolate hardens up and the center hardens up. Oh. That's some good eating right there. That is some, <laughs> that's some really good eating. Carm oh yeah, the caramel eggs. Yep, we got them too. Which is really weird. I find that, uh, like, I'm surprised that they have them over here. So our fruit and nut chocolate from Cadbury's tastes completely different to the fruit and nut chocolate that you guys had. That you guys have over in the UK. They've done something to the recipe over here. For a start, they don't use real vanilla. They use, uh, <laughs> what is it? What is it, the fake stuff? The, uh, they changed the chocolate. Oh, did they? Well, over here, they, all the, all of the vanilla that you get in like any candy bars or anything is all, is all, uh, fake. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's all, it's all, um, like fake vanilla the uh what's that one the gland the gland that they get it from the animal they get it from beavers beavers uh beaver glands in it <laughs> yeah there you go beavers bunghole <laughs> beavers con <holly> <laughs> oh dear yeah beavers con <laughs> yes they take it from uh yeah the nether regions <laughs> And um, yeah, so we did a. I, I remember when my mum came over the last time she came over. Uh, nope, nope. They use. So we did a test. My mum, when my mum came over from England last time, she was here. She bought us a bunch of Twix. <clears throat> well, a friend of mine. Um, so your a friend of mine used to work for Twix. Um, cooking experiment was his name. I don't think he still streams now. I think he's just too busy with work. Food experiment, his name was. And uh, he told me one day that he worked for Twix. And I said, which side did you work for, left or right? And he's like, ha ha, everybody asked that. But um, he told me that all American companies, like all American, like basically like if, so Twix or Mars or, it was the Mars company because Twix is owned by Mars. Or was, I don't know if it still is. And they would use fake vanilla. And, um, which is crazy. In Europe, they use regular, you know, regular proper vanilla. But over in the States, they use imitation. And it's like, but you have, you could literally get anything you wanted from wherever you want and you choose to use imitation, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. You could literally look at, a, you could literally go to the store right now and buy a Mars bar or Milky Way or Twix or something and look at what it says on the packet. It will say imitation, it will say imitation vanilla, which is insane. Considering, you know, what's available in America. But yeah, 
European chocolate, well, European chocolate in, in, in general is one hell of a lot better than, hell of a lot better than American chocolate. Like M&M's, they just taste so sickly to me. Just so sickly. All right. But it's weird though, because people that come over here from England are like, oh yeah, let me try this, this and this. And then when I go back, I'm like, you're, you're better off eating this that's already over here. I'm sure there's, you know, like those American stores pop up everywhere over in, over in Europe. There's probably American, you know, American candy and all this. And it's all just a sales gimmick. It's not, it's not, it's not better. I don't think. <clears throat> but again, that's just me. So. That is just me. My opinion doesn't count. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Nope, no Madagascar vanilla for them. All right, we're gonna cut up a lemon because we like to squeeze lemon on our pork schnitzels. I do, I don't know if Laura does, but I do. I know I had lemons. I've got a whole bag of them, so. All right. So next we're gonna shallow fry these. We're gonna put just enough, just enough oil in the pan that uh, it covers the bottom of the pan. You don't wanna put like a, a ton, um, cause then they'll just fry to a crisp and just be yeah. So I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to turn this back on to warm it up in a little while. What the heck am I doing? I need to get my pan first. Over to this side. We'll use, uh, we'll go old school on this one. We use this crappy old thing I got. I was going through like the pots and pans that I'm gonna throw away when I leave. There's so many like old crappy pans that I'm gonna get rid of. Cause they just ain't no good anymore. Been abused. Used and abused. Is it, is it that the extortion prices, but little ones? Maybe, maybe. When is the move? Captain Awesome, not 100% sure yet. We've got to sell this house. Um, <clears throat> we've still got people talking about it. They're threatening to buy it, but no offers yet. So. Yeah, they're threatening to buy it. <laughs> it's like, come on already. <clears throat> I'm saying that as to do Twinkies and Lynx beef jerky. Now Lynx beef jerky is really good. It's not the best, but it's good. Um, Twinkies, blech. Twinkies is, oh, I am not a fan of Twinkies. Not at all. Gross, absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I do not like them. That is just one big like sponge full of like, blech. Not a fan. Not a fan of a Twinkie. Not even close. Not even a little bit do I like them. Now, <clears throat> you know, it's funny you should, it's funny you're ear talking. So the other day, right, I was talking to somebody, talking to a friend of mine who lives here, but was in Scotland a couple of times years ago. And he said to me, he said, have you ever had iron brew before? And I'm like, yeah, I love the stuff. So we were sitting here and we Googled, we Googled it. Like, you know, we went onto Amazon 
You should see how much they want for Iron Brew off of Amazon. I, I about fell over. I about fell over when they... I was like, why on earth... Why on earth is that that much money? I'll tell you exactly how much it is, because I couldn't believe it. I like it. I don't mind it at all. I don't mind it. But for six cans, $23. $23 for six cans. 24 cans, $62. Chris, how are you, mate? Welcome in. Thank you very much for the for the 37 months. What can we make here? A risotto, uh, corned beef and cabbage, or Irish stew? You has become a member of the only pans. Evening, everyone. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's not the yeah, it's not the real one with the good stuff in it. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Twenty-three dollars for that, and for a twenty-four pack, sixty-two dollars. Corned beef, okay. Yeah, tw twenty uh, sixty-two dollars for a cake for a twenty-four. Ca uh, 24 can case of iron brew 62 dollars what are you doing are you like what do you got it wrapped in cotton wool and you're bringing it to the door you're gonna gonna serve it to me with a white glove like what the hell are you doing with it <clears throat> i couldn't believe that when i seen that all right so now i'm gonna check the cookies first <laughs> oh right so the pork schnitzel, we're going to do two at a time. Yeah, now do that math, right? How does that, how does that even, I was going to say, how does that even work out? Because if you buy 12, 12 cans at $23, why is 24 cans 60 some odd dollars? It is, it is, yes, it is. You're absolutely correct there, Milford, uh, 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 Tartan. You're absolutely correct. 100% it's, it is. <clears throat> but I had some friends that got some one time. Um, it's so crazy that they outlawed it because of that. In fact, it was Chef Steve. When Chef Steve was here visiting, Chef Steve got the real stuff. And I'm like, you do realize I'm not Scottish, right? <laughs> doing good, mate. Yeah, doing good. <clears throat> Just making some uh, pork schnitzel. And some uh, German potato salad, and then we made some cookies to go along with it. <clears throat> yeah, it was Chef Steve when he come over here. He's like, we bought some iron brew. I'm like, oh? Oh? I'm like, you do realize I'm not Scottish, right? But US will have chlorinated chicken and all sorts. Yeah, right. <coughs> yeah. Bizarre, isn't it? Absolutely bizarre. All right, so, again, we didn't make massive pounded out, you know, we didn't pound them out so far that you can't see them. Number one, I thought I'd break my table, but. All right, let me just get a, I'm going to take one of these and put them, put them on here. But what you do is you, you literally cook these until they're, you know, browned up a little bit, like this one. And then you can finish that in the oven. But it is, yeah, like the cost of stuff is insane. Well, just like, <clears throat> here's another one. Yorkshire tea, right? I drink Yorkshire tea. I drink Yorkshire tea like crazy. I can go onto Amazon, Yorkshire tea, for a bag of, I think it's 1100 is $45. Why on earth is, is, is Yorkshire tea $45 for a thousand tea bags yet yeah, you can go down the shop and buy it for yourself you know buy it yourself nice there you go I, I, it's unbelievable the amount of stuff that they the amount of stuff that they charge which, which is Amazon it's Amazon it's not the company themselves <clears throat> Man, I wish I could get a care package from them. I love it. I love it. I'm a... I love it. Mm, delicious. Delicioso. Hmm. It's my go-to for sure. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like tea. I don't like this. 
I, I prefer tea over coffee. I'll drink a cup of coffee every once in a while, but I prefer tea. It's weird too. So if I have tea, I drink milk in it. If, the, if I have tea, I drink milk in it. If I have coffee, I just have it black. They sent me all different ones last time. Wasn't a fan of the different ones they do about four. Oh, yeah. I messaged them one time about the, uh, what is it, the toast and jam? Was it toast and jam or something like that they did? They had a, um, like a special, something like that, like toast and, I think it was toast and jam. Some random flavor, whatever it was. And I was like, you know, is there any way that I could maybe get some sent here? Because they don't sell it here. And they never even responded, which is unusual for them. Everybody that I see normally messaging them, they get a response. I didn't get a response. Amazon seems to be all third party sellers these days in the UK. Yeah, probably is. But outrageously priced stuff. <clears throat> like I am not spending $45 during COVID. During COVID, the prices for stuff was absolutely insane. So I buy, I buy six bottles. I buy six bottles of HP sauce, right? Six bottles every time. Even that's gone through the roof. But that's one thing I won't, like if it costs, if it costs that much money, I'm still buying it because I like it. <laughs> I like it. I got to have it. So, you know, it's just crazy though, that how much money they charge for that stuff. It is. I almost drink the stuff. <laughs> All right. I'll leave them in there for a little bit longer. I do. I do like it a lot. HP on the break and roll. Yes. You're a typical British person with your HP bottle. I got to have it, Holland. Got to have it. My uh, HP sauce and my. Uh, Yorkshire tea is the only two things in life. <laughs> oh, and my Henderson's relish, like I was telling you guys the other day. Ever since Chris turned me on to Henderson's relish, uh, ever since Chris, Chris and me and James were talking about it too. Ever since Chris turned me on to Henderson's relish, I think I've had like eight or ten bottles delivered here. I got this much left on the bottle that I've got now. I love that stuff too. That stuff's really really good too that's another one of them that you can't that you can't all it is but and it's the craziest thing right all it is <clears throat> the only difference between henderson's relish and hp sauce is there's no there's no um anchovies in henderson's relish that's the only difference marmite i don't mind marmite Every once in a while, not too often. I mean, we don't buy, we don't have it here. Like if, if I have a jar or something, I'll, I'll eat it. But it's like once in a blue moon, not all the time. Now I use it for cooking. I don't like drink it or anything like people, you know, they mix it with drink and drink it. Not me. Ooh. Yeah, not me. Spam and emote. Spam away. I don't drink it. I use it for cooking. That's all I mean. Like I'll, like sometimes if you put it in sauces and stuff like that, it works. It, it, it works in that sauce um but i uh yeah i'm not i'm not one of these that's going to be like oh yes let's get some of this you know what about vegemite that's even worse Ooh, you can't yeah bovril too yeah but I, i've seen people drink marmite before not me i wouldn't drink it i've made gravy with it before bovril you can't get here you can't get that here either that's the one thing, that's the one thing in Ohio, when we go back to Ohio, there's a store, there's an international food store in uh, Cincinnati, which is about 30 minutes away from where we're going to live at. It's called Jungle Gyms. It has, it's like a huge warehouse. It's massive, this place, right? It is massive. <clears throat> and um, um, it has this international market and it has things from all over the world in there the english store alone is the english part of that store alone is bigger than my house get a donut out and cut the middle spread marmite in the donut bring back together no not only no but hell no <laughs> no <laughs> gross that does not sound good at all 
Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> oh, that's that does not sound good at all. Why would you wreck? Why would you wreck a donor? <laughs> good lord! I tell you what, Butler, you don't have to eat some. You don't have to eat some stuff. You. Some of your escapades in the kitchen are quite scary. Some of the things that you attempt, good lord. Uh, now, if Dave was still here, Dave would give you the, but oh why? <laughs> this, look. Ah, it didn't work, damn it. I can't spell. But why? <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you do anything? But a donut that? already has a filling, yes. Custard donuts, jam donuts, chocolate filled donuts, I don't, I'll take more. <laughs> they have a Dunkin' Donuts here. Dunkin' Donuts here is dangerous. Their donuts are really good. Their coffee's good too. What about how you guys feel about, I know England, you were saying that Wendy's, did you guys all try Wendy's yet? Did anybody try Wendy's yet? I've heard mixed reviews so far. I know Leah said she tried it. Marmite man. <laughs> that's his that's his name, Marmite Man. Well. Not any up here. Oh, okay. I haven't tried Wendy's. Be down south. I I I'm not really hundred percent sure where it is. I know my I know my mum said there's one round by her. There's a couple of our friends that have had them close close to them i know leah said she tried it leah said she liked it um <clears throat> it gets it gets it gets um mixed reviews here too all right let's uh drain these potatoes i don't mind it though I prefer it over McDonald's and Burger King, but then I'm not a huge fan of either one of them at all. All right, so there is the potatoes. We got a Wendy's burger van in the industrial estate. It's good. Wendy's burger van. <laughs> Somehow I don't think it's the same. <laughs> Right. there you go there's their monster cookies look they'll 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 uh they'll flatten out a little bit but they they didn't all go to one so that's good that's probably a lady called wendy not the wendy <laughs> oh dear oh dear <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's not like wendy's the company that's probably a lady called wendy that just started up a burger van <laughs> ah, that's good. <laughs> ah, so is Wendy's like, yes, yeah, very similar. Very, very similar. They have a lot of different stuff though. Their burgers, their burgers are square. Um, their chicken sandwiches are unreal. I love their chicken sandwiches. Wendy's chicken sandwich. Ooh. All right. The onions and all the, the onions, the, the sauce and all that that we made goes in there we're getting close now wendy's bacon roll sounds better would you eat a pizza for breakfast every day or have a pancake or have a pancake for dinner would you eat a pizza for breakfast okay so i wouldn't eat a no i wouldn't eat a pizza for breakfast no but I probably wouldn't eat a pancake for dinner either. So it's weird. So since come, since living over here, to me, pancakes are breakfast, but crepes are dessert. Um, but we, you're asking me which one I would do? I would probably eat the pizza for breakfast. If, if that was the, you know, pizza and beer, leftover pizza. We used to eat leftover pizza. <laughs> 
go out the night before, order a big old pizza, leave the pizza in the, you know, put the pizza in the fridge, wake up the next morning, damn, I'm hungry. Cold pizza, let's go. Yeah, leftover pizza's banging. <laughs> All right, we are gonna plate this up now. We're gonna plate this stuff up. Short one today. Short one today, but that's all right. Okay, so pork schnitzel. What kind of pancake are we talking about? Not like, probably not an English pancake. English pancakes are like crepes. They're very, very small. All right, so we'll squeeze a little bit of lemon on there. They're too thin. But American pancakes, that's like a full, that's like a huge meal, that is. An order of pancakes, a stack of pancakes, too much. That's crazy big. That's... Well, we didn't raise any money today, but you know what? We still had a laugh. We still had a laugh. So thank you very much for hanging out. I appreciate it very much. Try and hit that target for the rest of the week if we can. <clears throat> right, so here it is, the warm potato salad. And then our cookies that we got, our monstrous cookies. There you go. <laughs> that is that is dinner this evening. Let's uh, see if we can set up a raid. Theme easily over pizza for breakfast. Let's have a look. Scotch pancake. Yeah, see? Look how big they are. That's a, that's a big old, like you, you eat that. That's a lot. That is a lot. Um, all right. Let's, uh, let's go see if we can find somebody to raid. We'll go down on the food and drink. Uh, see if we can find anybody new to raid out to. See if there's anybody that's doing something. Wow, it's very quiet tonight. Biscuits with thickness gravy. Um, tell you what, Darthur's life. We'll just go raid Darth. Darthur's life. We haven't. Uh... No, they didn't. Nope. Nope. All right, guys, thanks very much. Hold on, Darth, you don't mind coming over for that raid. All right, guys, have a great night. Uh, I know it's an early finish tonight, but you know, you can't really make this last two hours. It's not fair to do that. So thanks very much for hanging out. We'll try and hit some more money tomorrow on the, on the goal. And uh, have a great evening, guys. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.